This video will explore the differences between commercial and industrial Ethernet and how the cables and connectors are constructed to meet the demands of these environments. The environment on the typical factory floor is tough. Cables can be exposed to oils, moisture, temperature changes, abrasion, and even corrosive chemicals. On top of that, motion or flexing can also put stress on the cable. A commercial Ethernet cable is not built to withstand these conditions. For any Ethernet connector, the number of twists must remain at an acceptable level throughout the connector. An overmolded M12 is used for industrial Ethernet because it is considerably more robust and rugged than the RJ45. And the spacing between pins maintains signal integrity. This is what makes it ideal for the factory floor. The assembly of an M12 for industrial Ethernet requires a considerable amount of manufacturing skill and expertise to maintain the appropriate amount of twists on the individual pairs. This becomes even more vital as you move to higher level category cables, for instance CAT6A or CAT7. The pairs in these cables are further protected from one another by the amount of twists per pair, physical separators inside the cable, or even foil shielded pairs. For these higher category cables, a modified M12 is required, which results in an X configuration in the connector. Each pair is located within a segment of the X configuration, providing additional separation of the pairs. At this time, the Xcode M12 is used with higher category Ethernet cable and is really only intended for camera, video, or high-speed data acquisition. Most industrial Ethernet systems work great with standard M12s and Cat5e cable. Industrial Ethernet is an emerging technology in the industrial marketplace. Many established commercial vendors are trying to position themselves for their piece of the pie. While commercial Ethernet products may be less expensive than their industrial counterparts, the reality is they won't hold up in the environment and often won't have the correct shielding or mechanical protection. There is a lot of misinformation and half-truths surrounding industrial Ethernet, so it's important to be cautious where you get your information. Know your application and always keep in mind the environmental differences.